So before that we dive into uh, CSS and coding, I try to speak the, about how PrestaShop generate the front of its content. PrestaShop uses the notion of blocks. So what does this mean? Blocks mean dividing the theme or the template or the front office into parts. As example, this is called the header block. The nav or display nav, which contain uh, the nav menu, search and logo, the home and the footer, the main basic or the main global blocks. In, inside these blocks, or let's say all these blocks, or each one of these blocks contain a hook. A hook means some sort of code or um, uh, annotation that is used later by the system, by the, the, the templating engine of PrestaShop to hook or to transplant modules. So what does this mean? As example, in this block, in the header block, we have your logo logo of the website we have a search uh, let's say a search input a search form we have a card block and we have a menu or top menu block so what does this mean simply this block is generated by a specific module called a block search this card block also is generated by a specific module called a block card same thing for the top menu same thing for the, the 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 slider or the the diaporama or whatever same thing for the product list same thing for the CMS content same thing for the blocks existing on the footer to make things much clearer we need to go to my IDE then to my theme folder then discount as I mean um, sorry layout dot TPL and this is it, the file. So we are we are facing now a new template, or let's say a new um, a new extension dot TPL. A TPL means, as the name uh, means, or let's say uh, the abbreviation, it's a template file. But TPL is a Smarty file, or Smarty is a template engine. So don't bother so much about Smarty and what does this mean. Just Put in mind that Smarty is a template engine used by Smarty to render. I mean, sorry, it's template engine used by PrestaShop to generate the front office uh, side and to display all the you know the, the HTML content, whether it's in front office or in the back office. Simple as that. And this is the main heart of our front office content. Okay, so. What does this mean? In case of test, I will put this file contents into a comment or as a comment and refresh and I got just a blank page. This means everything displayed in the front of this is coming from the layout.tpl. So let's dive into the code trying to understand what's going on here. We have some lines with condition if, so this is a uh, smarty syntax, don't bother again doesn't matter I we will understand this later in the coming videos and let's try to hide as example this display header that includes some TPL directory header.tpl and so on I'm trying to refresh our website see what does or let's say the effect of hiding that line so if I refresh then my site goes useless okay let's put that back and try and speak since you start getting the idea of what is going on here. So PrestaShop, as, as I said in the first, on the beginning of the tutorial, is uh, PrestaShop theme is a, is a collection of blocks. This one called the hook header, or the header hook. And the header hook contain a blocks hooked into it, which means if I go to my back office and navigate to module and service position, then I go up and let's reset this to all modules then type here here display block this is the header this is the hook header okay this is the block header and in the after this I have a list of modules that are hooked into that block that are let's say transplanted into the hook header so 
let's get this a bit practical I will pick this whole block I try to put uh, some sort of rectangle that you can understand things more and back to my search for hook I'll type display top so display top and show me the list of modules that are hooked there so if we go to front of this we see that we have a search block we have a card and a card sorry and we have a search uh, a menu or top menu and display top a list containing a quick search block card block user info block page not found search engine keywords and a top horizontal menu in a specific order as you see one two three two six so this mean display top is the block and we have all these modules hooked into it so in other term or if you, I understand well then I can reorder these blocks order on let's say change the order of these blocks into uh, this uh, into the hook and this, into the display top hook so if I just what got away uh, whatever I'm sorry for that uh, so we change the order by just dragging and dropping the top horizontal menu then we don't need to save just it automatically getting saved back to my front office refresh and normally I will uh, I would say the top menu position just change it it become above the search uh, form and the card another term I think you start understanding what's going on another option is available also is to unhook a module from a hook so simply by selecting it and go to just clicking unhook the selection in case I would like to unhook many modules or simply by going or clicking this drop down arrow and hit unhook back to my back front of this sorry and just waiting for it okay module was successfully removed from the hook refresh and the menu should be gone that's good now you may say I would like to hook back or let's say to redisplay my menu simple as in hooking we need to go to transplant a module and we will be landed into a page containing two drop-down selection one for the modules and the other for the possible hooks and the possible hooks meaning that each module as example the top horizontal menu got a, let's say a limited uh, list of possible hooks another term as you see if I try to hook my top horizontal menu to the to the footer as example I can't because I don't have that option and you will see in the coming uh, videos and how to create a custom hook and ex as example if you would like to display as I said the top menu into the photo so I will select display top an exception here is another option in case we would like to do not display the display the top menu the top or the menu in case as example in a, an address page or a contact page or whatever so we just need to type it like home.php or simply by selecting like this all right so just remove it that's good then save back to my front of this refresh and I should get back my menu simple as that so I think you start getting the main idea we have blocks in our on our theme and each block got a hook name and each hook got a module transplanted on it